Hey, what's up, you guys? It's Tyler, and welcome back to the internet. So, today is Wednesday, the 29th of January. For those of you who don't know me, or I've just never talked about this with you before, I go to a church called Salvation Army, and I love going to Salvation Army, and Salvation Army is amazing. I I don't know, I've, that's just been my family for like years. And um, Salvation Army have this thing. I don't know, like, good people that go to church, you get, like, baptised or christened, and then you get, like, confirmed when you're a certain age or whatever. Well, Salvation Army doesn't really work like that. Um, from the age of seven, Salvation Army, you can become a junior soldier, which is that. And from the age of 14, I believe, you can become a senior soldier. Yeah. And it's basically saying that you belong to this church, wear the uniform. I don't think you have to wear the uniform, but most people... Oh if not at all of the soldiers wear the uniform. Um, it means that you can play in the band and sing in the songsters, although I don't think, I think our songsters is now open section. Anyway, um, and I'm now 17, and for the past few months-ish, I don't really remember when we started, I've been doing recruits classes, which are classes to become a senior soldier. Yeah. And on Sunday the 8th of March 2020, I will be becoming a senior soldier. And I'm excited. Apart from the fact that I have to make a speech. Now, I'm not very good at making speeches. So this video is going to be taking you along the rest of my journey to becoming a senior soldier. <laughs> including speech writing. Which I'm not very good at. Did I mention? Also, I don't like talking in front of people. This would be very interesting. Okay, so it has been a few days since I last filmed for this vlog. This is my testimony book. I have pretty much finished it. I just it needs to be written up and make sure it's in the right order and stuff. But I have my like official draft. Um, so that's good. And I have my notes for today. I just like to say this whole experience. I am not doing it by myself. I am doing it with Cara, and Cara is probably one of my best friends at this point. Like, I mean, I feel like we've always been really good friends. Like, we've just got on really well and stuff. And, like, so yeah, I'm doing it with her, and so I just wanted to say that. So, yes, thank you for doing this with me, Cara. And I'm so glad that we can share this experience together if you are watching. Um, anyway, the purpose of me filming this right now. I got my uniform this morning. I just got home about five minutes ago from church this morning. Whew. And it's about 10 to 1, I think. Um, but I managed to get my uniform this morning, so I'm gonna get it out and I'm gonna try it on. I need to try it on and get, like, I mean, the pant legs are gonna be too long, I can already tell you that now. Probably the waist is gonna be too big, so, you know, I need to get it altered as well. Hello. <laughs> Hello, so it is evening on Saturday. I've been home for probably just over an hour. Just about an hour ish. Uh, it's almost half seven. I think I don't think around half six. Okay. I don't really remember, not gonna lie. Um, but yeah, I had a great day today and I am so excited for tomorrow. For first of all, for the next day of youth councils, but also it's enrollment tomorrow before youth councils, 
which is super exciting. I have my uniform already over here. Everything's been sewn on it. My uh, trousers have been altered. It's all great. I haven't tried it all on yet. I mean, I know it all fits, but I haven't like put it all on. I'm not gonna until tomorrow morning now. So I'm actually really excited now. Like it's tomorrow. It's in like oh, my alarm will be going off in like 12 hours. Okay, calm down. Whew. So yeah, I'm gonna go. It is Sunday. It's nine in the morning. Um, today is a big day. I'm really excited. I Excited, but I'm also really nervous. Mostly for my speech, but also just nerves. But that's just not unusual. Like that's pretty normal. Um, so, yeah, I'm gonna get some breakfast and some tea. <laughs> um, and then I'm gonna chill for hours before I get ready. Unusually, yeah. my longest for eight. But like, let's see what else is happening. So, I need to remember my instrument. Oh, and remember my bag. Because I don't know yet if I'm actually going to be coming home in between. LGBT photo, which is my lock screen, which I'll put a picture of here right now. It's one of my favorite photos. Um, and this year we're hoping to get like an updated pictures, like a year later. Um, which is really fun. So I'm hoping that Nell's gonna bring his pride flag because mine's hanging off on my wall and I can't reach it. <laughs> it's too high. So hopefully now now we'll bring his, and then we can get an updated picture. So I will. You guys are later. Okay, I'm being weird now. Goodbye. Hello. It is about quarter to ten, I think. Be leaving soon. I have my uniform on. This is my jacket and tunic. I have the shirt and the trousers, which I did have to put a belt on. And they fit in length now. Look at that. Oh, I mean, I raised my leg up so much that they got. Anyway. <laughs> Yeah, so be leaving soon. All ready to go. Fun fact. So today I'm going to talk about how like my faith has changed and it's grown over the last few years, like and how it's like impacted like my life. Um, so like growing up, I was always quite shy. I mean, I still am, but. More so when I was younger. And I would usually be like stuck quietly around at school, like everyone else is each talking, and I'd just be sat listening because it was easier than joining in. Because I genuinely believe that if I joined in, I'd feel laughed at or someone would say something about it. Um, but whenever I was at church, I never really felt like anyone was going to laugh at me. I always felt like the people here always made me feel safe and like I belonged somewhere. And for the longest time, church has always kind of been like a second home and like the family that like is just like a nice family. Um, and even though I knew throughout all this that God was always with me, I never really sort of thought about it. I never was like sat at school, like it doesn't matter what people think, but I always did anyway. Um, at summer school in 2016, I remember being sat in the chapel and we were 
listening to music and I had my eyes closed. Uh, when I opened my eyes, I looked around and realised how beautiful the chapel actually was. And after a while, me and some of my friends were sat at the altar and we were praying and we were just talking. And I remember seeing all these people sat around me and it kind of felt like I was alone. But then it was like when I was sat with these people at the altar, it was kind of like God was reaching out to me to say that I wasn't alone and that he was with me for everything. And when I looked up, I realised that there were so many people around me that were caring and loving and supportive. And that was the first time I ever fully kind of understood that God is always with you. Um, there's a Bible verse that I always think about from Hebrews 11, verse 1, that says, To have faith is to be sure of the things we hope for and to be certain of the things we can't see. To me, having faith is empowering. I mean, life is hard and things get thrown at you from every direction. And I don't know about you, but I like to question everything. But the one thing I've always been certain of is my faith, and that no matter what life throws at me, I always have faith and it's there to help you through the hard times. I wanted to become a so, so much senior soldier just after summer school last year. So Cara and I were sat on the beach one evening and we were talking to people about it and just feeling like I didn't have to go through this on my own was quite nice. <laughs> um, yeah, I wanted to become a senior soldier because it's like the next step for me in my faith journey. Going to senior soldier is not the last step, it's just the next step and I feel like it will lead to many more experiences and taking more steps in my faith. I'm so thankful for the past few months and thankful I get to share this experience with Cara and I'm thankful for Catherine and Alison uh, for helping us get here and I'm thankful for all of you for being the wonderful and supportive family. So, thank you. Hey guys, so this is going to be really quick. I didn't film while I was there. Hopefully someone got my testimony and hopefully you just saw that. But I got a tie and I got loads of like gifts and stuff off people. But my godparents are actually on their way to come pick me up to go out. We're going out for lunch. So I'm going to get changed and open some of these things. And yeah, it's, it was great. I'm so, honestly, I'm so happy. I'm so like overwhelmed with all the support and just the amazement of people. So I'm going to go out for lunch and yeah, I should probably actually tell my dad, but I'm going out for lunch. Also, apparently my tie's tied wrong. I didn't tie it. Because um, I was like, I'll do it wrong. Um, so, somebody else tied it, and I've just messed it up again. Great. Well done. You moron. There we go. So, yeah, they're going to come pick me up for lunch. And um, that's why I'm going to get changed. And I'll see you soon. Okay guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe. That would mean a lot to me. This weekend was so amazing. Um, my enrollment and youth councils, which was... I uploaded a video of youth councils a few days ago. I will link that down below if you guys want to go check it out. That would be great. I had so much fun this weekend. I've had such an amazing time. And I couldn't be more thankful for the experience. I couldn't be more thankful for the people that I have in my life. I'm filming this about 11, not even 11, it's later than 11, it's probably like 12. <laughs> so I'm trying to be kind of quiet. And I like the Eve Council's video. Um, I hope this video is not too long, but please subscribe and go follow me on Instagram or through my accounts, that would be great. Okay, um, I mean, And um, so yeah, have a great week and I'll see you next time. Bye. <laughs>
Formed at your command.